Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hi, my name is Kristen Renee, and today we're going to do some pec massage with Karina. First, I'm going to get just a little bit of oil. Do some sweeping motions just under the collarbone and across the top of the shoulders to warm up the pec area and the shoulders because everything really works together in the body. I'm going to take my fist and I'm going to drag across just under the collarbone and around the top of the arm, the deltoid. And then begin to massage the arm. So first I'm going to apply oil. And do some gliding strokes and warm up the entire arm. And take the hands and work on that pressure point between your pointer finger and the thumb. Just give that some extra attention. That's really great for headaches just tension release. I'm gonna break bread with the hand where I have my fingers in the center, my thumb and palm on top and just kind of pull it apart. And then massage out each individual finger. Some nice thumb crisscrosses right here at the wrist. And then strip out the forearm. Three passes on each side. Sometimes I add some little additional oil. Three passes on the inside, pretty firm pressure. And once the forearm's complete, then come up to the to the bicep and the tricep and just do some kneading. and then bring the arm up over their head. Here I'm gonna do some longer strokes across the pec muscles and then down into the armpit and to the lats or the swimming muscle. Then I'm going to do some petrissage, some squeezing. Some people are really sore here, so it can either be ticklish or it can just hurt. So just be mindful of where your, your partner is at that time. Just get that whole pec muscle. Make sure you get into the armpit. And that's where you can get the most benefit. A lot of people's back pain is really coming from their, their pec muscles being tight. From working on the computer, driving the car, studying, whatever your life has you doing.
And we'll kind of stretch the arm up over the head and then bring it back down to their side. I'm going to do a nice continuing stroke here in the middle. And around to the other side. Take my fist, loose fist, start from the middle of the chest and pull outwards down across the arm. Next, I'll apply oil to the other arm. Making sure you pay attention to the hands and to the feet is really important because there's so many nerve endings and receptors there that you're affecting multiple parts of the body, not just the hands or the feet. And squeeze out each finger. goes around the wrist. Stripping out the forearms. Don't be afraid to add more oil when necessary. It really keeps a nice glide more comfortable for you and for whoever you're swapping massage with. Next I'm going to petrissage, knead up the arm, come out to the side. and then above the head. Get just a little bit more oil. And then some long gliding strokes from the elbow all the way across the chest. Next I'm going to knead into the armpit and across the pec muscles. Don't forget the lat. Stretch over the head. And then back to the side. Once you've completed both, both arms, you can come back to the middle. And do some nice gliding effleurage strokes, small circles underneath the clavicle the collarbone. I like to take my knuckles and just kind of sweep it underneath the collarbone. Not too much pressure. Pretty light. I would say medium, light to medium pressure here. Then I'll take my fists, 
I'll do some sweeping strokes across the top of the shoulders. Some light circles around the top of the neck. And this is a real winner. So you're gonna take your arm, your hands, and you're gonna press down to the table. Kind of get your arms underneath. You're gonna massage from the bottom using their body weight against your fingers. Getting those upper back muscles some muscles that work against your pectoral muscles. Get them all relaxed again. And then tractioning. And you're done with their pet massage. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to our Psyche Truth channel. And have a wonderful day.